Guys, do you think we look at Logan? I think you mean Logan Ryan. He's a slot corner, and he's a really good one. He's a free agent. He's really expensive. He's really expensive. It's so like, it's maybe kind of they funny with the free agents. Him and it's like it's like him at corner, uh, not moving up his price, and Clowney at at pass rusher, not moving up his price. It's like guys, we're training camp. You got to lower your dollar sign at some point. But what they're thinking is teams are get, one team is going to get desperate when someone gets hurt. Someone's yeah. going to get hurt. Your team is going to get desperate. So I, I guess the Niners aren't technically desperate yet because they say that K1 Williams will be back in two or three weeks. But it looks like he's going to miss all the training camp. And right now they're they're like experiment. They're uh, trying to find bodies just to put at that spot to get through practices. Like they're having to put guys in there that haven't played nickel before. So I'm wondering, like, are they tr- like looking to see if Tavarius Moore can do it, or are they just trying to get through a practice? May I think they actually are flirting with the idea of putting Tavarius Moore at nickel, and I I think he's actually decent at it. They tried Jimmy Ward there. His coverage is fine, but once he starts, he turns his back to uh, the quarterback, it doesn't matter his coverage because he's never fine on that ball. And the, the wide receiver is going to catch it. So he can't play that position. He's much better fit at free safety. I think Moore can do it. He did look like he could do it. He played pretty solid, in my opinion. And it's kind of, it, it definitely is something to consider the way they're sh- having that little musical chairs over there at Nickel because we didn't just see him out there. We saw Tim Harris. We saw the safety maiden. We saw. Well, Emmanuel Mosley was even out there, so it was like right. I was like, "What's what's going on today?" Like her really. I'd like to see Witherspoon to do it too. I'd I, like to that. Wouldn't that. be bad. That wouldn't be I'd bad. Like but they're that. probably scared of him of his ability of how I he can know. handle if it's against the. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think if he's on the outside and he has to tackle, that's fine. But when he's actually in there with the real big bodies, the real trenches, now, mm-hmm. that's a different that's a different thing from him. I think. Well, the original question was. Do you think the 49ers will look at Logan Ryan? No. No, no he's too expensive. But should they look at Logan Ryan? I think it depends on K1 Williams. I don't know how bad his calf injury is. But whenever an NFL team tells me calf injury, I think, A, they're lying. B, it either means the ACL or the Achilles because it's attached to both. And technically, if the thing hasn't snapped or torn, you could call an, an Achilles strain a calf strain. And they do. So you never know. Like, is it serious or is it not? They say it's not. They always say it's not. But you know, yeah. so if it is serious, they should definitely look at Logan Ryan. Again, this is a Super Bowl contending team. You can't have too. it like you can't have major weaknesses when it, it would cost you five million dollars to or, or, or something. You can make one move to fix it. Still, I can't believe that Tom Compton is the right guard. It's like that's the best <laughs> you can do. Anyway, that's a different. That's a different. That's why. That's why. What's his name was in there? McKivitz. They said, what about Verrett in the slot? You know, they, they've given him shots. They, they've actually given him some chances in the slot. Uh, I think I have, I have a theory. Um, Witherspoon is not playing well enough to win this competition. It's going to come down to Verrett or Mosley at, at cornerback too, I think. And whoever loses probably will become the backup nickel. Yeah, that's probably how it's going to be seen fit. And Verrett, especially at, at a nickel, if he's going to play in the slot, I think he's really going to get exposed to especially – Mm. Because then now it's it's already bad enough he has to because when you're playing nickel you have to account for like every direction this guy is coming the wide receiver is coming from and outside it's a little bit more predictable where they're gonna go so the last thing you want to do for a guy who's already looking like he's second guessing where the receiver is gonna be that, that's not gonna, that's not gonna fare too well you put him over there that's another reason I, why I think the Niners want Jason Verrett to win this competition I think they're trying to speak it into existence by telling national reporters who have only seen an hour and a half. Hey, the guy's playing great. I think they would love Jason Verrett to be the starter um, so that they can feel, they can say, we have two former Pro Bowl corners. What do you mean? We have a corner issue. We have a new corner. His name's Jason Verrett. No. Yeah. But yeah, I think they want it to be him. 